Welcome once again to Dumpster Talk, bitch. I'm your host, Bum Number One. And over there, somewhere in that vicinity, is Bite Binge. He's drinking something. We've got lots of fucking topics to cover this week, as usual. And opportunities for you once again to interact both on the chat box and otherwise. Bitch. So let's get I'm into full it. Of color. What? I'm full of color. You are full My of face blue. Is full of color. Your the music blue is so loud. Why is your music so loud? It's not How that loud. To... All it's, right, if you say so. It's not mixed loud. You got it loud. Turn it down. Like if you, if you I have... have. How could I have it turned down? Because I'm listening to it on your stream and hearing it as being loud. Well, you could just turn that stream down. Simple as no, that. I can mute it. I'm just letting you know you had it super loud it's compared balanced. to our voices. It's a balanced program. Like a balanced Whatever. breakfast. Then, you know what? It's like F fucking fine. frosted flakes. Fine. Just, just fuck it all up. I don't give a shit. Fuck up everything. Fuck up your audio. Fuck up your video. And I'm, that's the last time I ever give you any feedback about how to fix your shit. Well, you I mean, I'll, I'll review. I'll review like that turd. shit. If it's, it's not like it's gonna play the music again. You want me to play the music again? You don't want me to do that. Uh, can you play it at two times speed? No, I, I could play. Well, actually, I, I could play it. I could play a twenty-five second version of it if you'd like. Would you like that? You have a twenty-five second version. Yeah. Here we go. Welcome once again to Dumpster Talk, this time with a 25 second version of the motherfucking okay. theme song. Because Bite Binge wants it sped up, but not sped up like so that it sounds like a fucking chick punk. This is how it is. This might be what we want to use to start the show. Why can't they hear me? Because you're, the music's so loud. I mean, they can hear you, but it's, it's it, you're drowned out by the music. Huh. Well... Maybe we can turn that motherfucker down. Let's see what I can do. Comp Gross is here. Comp Groost. Groust. What's up, Comp? Groost. Yes, welcome. You missed something. We're, we've got a new format. Let me give you some news, Comp. Let me give you some news to react to. And let me also make sure that the chat gets on our screen. So, Comp, as you do this again... Um, we need to get the fucking um, follow box on there. I still haven't done that either. Man, all the effort put in, and still, there is much to be done. I'm going to fuck this up right here really bad. Dark so Shade I... says it's a miracle. I thought I was drunk for no reason, but he has a reason I'm, now. I'm just fucking up right here, guys, because it's important. I want to get the now... follow box. And now on the my screen. Discord window has been revealed. It's going to be gone. It has been revealed to the general public. All right. Now, Comp, if you do stuff, you should get credit. Let me try. Do there. stuff? <laughs> That's what I'm what talking about. You see? For once, holy shit, what have I missed? Now text-to-speech is available here, too. But normally, what we see, we should see... This shit is working properly. Is I should be able to. There it is. There it is. Just like you say. And also it's your chat appearing it. in our screen where it belongs. So let's get into some of today's fucking topics and let's bite. Well, you no, you gotta you say. Just... Yeah, but there's alcohol consumption though. You need to do Isn't this. There... Shouldn't there be an alcohol consumption segment before, in between every other segment? There should be alcohol con consumption constantly. But we can go ahead and take uh, one of those moments now. Car. Let's dedicate right, the next seven seconds to alcohol consumption. Ready? I don't know. I don't go. know. I, I can, but I'm going to be out of my drink after this seven seconds. I'm going to let that would be it. I don't have a bottle to turn upside down like you do. As has been so a while. You... All right, so... What? Let, let's... When are you gonna have a when are you gonna have an animation that someone could pay to have vomit pour out of your mouth? Someday. I mean, actually, I think there is something like that, 
You know, like because like what you could do is have they pay for it, and it goes to like uh, you hit I the button. I think there is one where automatic... you actually can watch me puke in the sink, but I think it just costs a lot. No, 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 no. I mean, like, uh, I know you haven't set it up. But I'm saying I'm giving you an idea, which is, uh, you know, how you, you right now don't have it able to run the shrimp shit by itself. No, it doesn't run on itself. It, I, know. If I want so to do it. Saying... I do it like this. And I understand. Then... So... Oh, will it play on the the big screen behind us? No, it won't. It will not. Hold on. No, oh. it, it won't. Oh, that is shitty. It is. Well, anyway, back to my point, which is you, what you could do is someone could say, uh, you know, make bum number one vomit, and it goes to a still shot of you, and, like, you have, like, an animation that's superimposed over that has a vomit, and then you just kind of, like, move your face into it a little bit so that it matches up. Yeah. I'm... That sounds like more effort than it's worth. But What? We could, we could. I think it was an amazing idea. I'm, I'm sure you could even you could even say make bum number one vomit on bite binge and I could just be have a still image of me or me going like this ah la la woo it just like rains down on me and your face is like oh, and it just spills down on me going oh <laughs> well, I think it's you let's ask the the audience what they think. Would that be a good channel point redemption, where it's just an animation of me doing that little dance, and it goes to a live image of him blown up? I mean, and yeah, it's vomiting could, down onto me. You could just make a thousand of me. I I task you to make our our channel point redemptions, and you can do things like that and put them in there, cost them whatever you want, and then I'll put them in. As long as you just. Tom you Cross me up said with never. I I don't know if that's never meaning that he hates the idea. I'm not sure. I don't know either, but anyway. Let's get into our. It's not uh, specific enough. Let's get into our first um, topic of the day. So, our first topic is about um, a man um, in Seattle. It's not Florida man. It's Seattle man. And what did uh, he do? He broke into a woman's home, and uh, the woman obviously became scared when he broke into the home, ran upstairs with her phone, called nine one one. And this dude proceeded to get into the car in this woman's house that he broke into. And I've never had good pumpkin beer, no. There's nothing passable that's disgusting going on. Um, the the guy uh, got into this woman's car, took a jerry can of her gasoline, and started chugging the gasoline in the car. The police arrived, continues to chug the gasoline, and they had to pry this gasoline out. We're gonna watch the footage. I'm not. I'm not just fucking with you guys. We're gonna watch the footage of this fucking guy doing this. I'm gonna have to, to clear the chat out of the screen for it. But um, let's all take a moment. And uh, you should have an animation where all the the chat text shatters before the video comes on, just like shatters. That would be nice. I like can flash. just shut it. I, what I can do is shut it off. That's all I can we do. We need we need transition effects. No, just shutting on. No, you need like where it all all the the text shatters into pieces and fills the bottom of the screen, and then you have a shit thing pour all from the screen down into it, and then like and it flushes like a toilet, and all the text goes down. From that the would chat. be awesome. I'm and sure. Then the video starts. Yeah, that that'd be fun to program. I'm sure that'll take a lot of time. I have a lot of ideas I, that will take you tens of hours to accomplish, but they're still great ideas. They are great ideas. Uh, yep. Glad anyway. you agree. Oni Glitch, I'm glad you love me. Let's fucking watch this clip of this motherfucking dude drinking gasoline. This is not fucking fake. This happened on, on August 18th, so this was less than a week ago. It was during the, before the last last time we did this. Let's watch. I actually can't see it when I turn to look at it. Isn't that weird? I turn yeah, to you should fix it so that you're oriented right. You should okay, reverse your image or something so that you're oriented in the way that you actually look. Because I'm looking well, at the screen right this. now. I can move it over to this monitor. Three? This is the uh, body cam footage here of these police officers entering the home. This woman is called 911. And Seattle police! there's a man in her garage. We're checking inside! Drinking gasoline. Audio? Drinking gasoline straight out the fucking Doesn't... jerry can. Is there yeah, any audio? There's no audio for this, I don't think. You got it, okay. This is police camera footage. This is not. This Seattle police, we're checking inside. Police footage has microphones known. on a lot of the time. That's fine. Hey, I'm fairly certain. Get your hands up now. 
Get I might up. be wrong. Is, are you guys on the leave screen the hands getting in the air? Keep audio your on hands this motherfucker? in the air. Oh, you want me to check? Do it now. I, I thought you would know. You got a second? Well, I'm not feeding the audio to myself. Put it down. 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 Yes, there's audio. You got a, you got a okay. camera. Yes, left. there's audio. Hey, okay, that's left. good to know. One, one keeps lethal. That's intentional. Open the door. We give them audio. Open the door right now. We should get monitors. Again, you're drowning yourself out with audio just like you did the music. Open it now. Oh, really? Or we'll bust it open. Open the door. Uh, we'll bust I'm getting it open. close to my microphone, so open I can make door. it louder by doing that. But you don't have a way of doing that. I can get closer like this. Pretty easy. Okay, that's fine. pretty easy. I can turn my mic up too, actually. Check. One. There we go. This guy was slugging that shit, though. He was slugging that fucking gasoline down his throat. It's the real deal. He's under arrest. For gasoline consumption? No, for breaking and entering. And obviously, like, whatever other charges they can, they can throw at him. Um, um, so he was he actually charged gasoline. with attempted burglary, un according to the uh, the article. So, so he just wanted to dampen the experience of being uh, subdued and beaten by the police by drinking uh, a, a gallon of gasoline. I think really he was just he was just taking make his... it fuzzier, right? It'll make it a fuzzier, make he the was... whole memory of it happening fuzzier. So he figured that's the way to deal with it emotionally, long term. Yep, I think I think you might be right. That that's what he was probably doing. He was thinking, I'm about to get fucking thrown in jail. I may as well drink a gallon of gasoline. Then at least I'll be fucked up in there. He, I can't Where's imagine. Leonard Wyatt is reminding you over and over about the points you never fronted back to him. Yep, I have not given those points back. They have, they, didn't, they have, changed the place where you can give the points back, so I don't know where it is. It's a rough situation. Uh, so you're blaming you're Je blaming Jeff Bezos. And you don't even have I any am. Jeff Bezos stories. I'm I'm blaming Jeff. I am. Let's put the chat back on so that they can. You need a picture of Jeff Bezos on the screen right now. Jeff Bezos. I don't have him. He, He's not one of my. Key. You need a hotkey button for Jeff Bezos to appear. I've got Musk and I've got uh, Zuckerberg, but I don't have. Uh... Uh, no, I'm only gonna name people that I know you don't have about how you should have them. That's what I mean. That's my that... contribution to your stream. <laughs> Good for you, good for you. I mean, what do you think it would be like to drink gasoline? Like, uh, I assume I would vomit. I mean, I, I would assume. Vomit? Like, can you imagine the fumes coming up your throat? Have you ever drank Everclear? I have. I bet. You, I bet you would be like no. drinking Everclear. Ethanol is part, but not most, of gasoline. So if it was all ethanol, then it's basically Everclear. But it ain't. It ain't all ethanol. Like this shit. Look how prepared I, mean, I am. I've got I'm, another beer. I'm, assu I'm assuming he's Ready probably go. done it before, in some sort of small quantities, to where he's not going to vomit from doing it. Whereas, I assume me, who's never done that before, and started. Well, he's got a tolerance. He's vomit. got a gasoline tolerance. In fact, that's the reason he broke into the house was to get at the gasoline. It wasn't about the cops at all. He was he was a gas addict. He's going for that petrol. That shit's costing too much now for an addict. He's going through gallons at a time. Anyway, that really happened. That's not well, fake. <laughs> not now that we're there this far in, though, I need an alcoholic beverage because I need more. I'll be back. Absolutely. I'm going to go ahead and uh, replace my battery here and continue on with the next segment. Thank you for cracking that beer. Where did you learn to fly? That's what you got to do. So next, we're going to be talking about uh, aircraft. We're going to be talking about uh, the airlines. Uh, there's a news story that just came out in the airlines that I bet you don't know about. He did pay $300 for salt. That did happen. Um, I can tell you all about Daniel Hathaway when we get to the end of the program where I will go to the viewers for more, but Daniel Hathaway deserves a five-minute 
a five minute time. When he gets back, if I'm talking about him, he's not going to know what the fuck I'm talking about. I could have him on, yes, actually. He and I are still on good terms. He would appear on this show tomorrow. If I asked him. You bitch! Damn! Rip to the VIP. No, oh, no, there's no rip. That guy's still alive. I can't believe he is either. But he's reached out, and I had to explain to him. It was hard. I had to explain to him that I couldn't be his Facebook friend, but I could do this, like, shadow shit, like, so that he could still be in contact with me. But I couldn't have him, because he posts shit about how crack should be legal. I, I can't do that. <laughs> you, can't, you, you can't put that shit on your Facebook that everybody sees. So, <laughs> that that's but i i do know i i he's still my friend i i definitely could get him here who jeff bezos no daniel hathaway oh we could get jeff bezos here but not this week he's not he's not available he's got fucking uh warehouses to fill apparently well i mean he has to, i think what he does is he goes warehouse to warehouse and you know, if he sees anyone going into the bathroom, he then he is just there. He next makes to the sure, and he beats He's... and he beats them with a ruler because they went into the bathroom to use the bathroom. I thought he just and stood and watched and made it so that they couldn't go. Because when everybody, when anybody's standing over your shoulder watching you, and you're standing up and taking a piss, like there's this thing, there's this primordial like ghost or something that will come straight into your fucking uh, bladder and stop it from fucking going. And you'll be sitting there like a chump. And if someone's watching and looking for a stream, you're not going to be able to do it. Or you might be able to, but your chances are less. Have you ever experienced this? Are you talking about because people are watching you? Yeah, because people are watching not you pee anymore. and they can see the stream. Like if you're outside and you're standing and people are watching, or if there's no, I mean, my like body a is... trough at the the dome, the stadium, nope. or whatever. No, you don't have that experience. You're free no, flowing. Because, I mean, my you body, flow my... all the time. You're just like you whip it out. It's like. I mean, it's a, first off, if you if you're like need to go really bad, it doesn't just stop when you get there. I mean, if you're like borderline, then maybe. But the idea that you have to pee really bad and then you feel socially awkward, and you can't. I've never experienced. No, if you really it's need not... to go bad, it's probably going to be going. But I'm talking about if you needed to go, kinda. Like you, you needed to then go. It's more likely to happen. I mean, to I mean, maybe it has a long time ago, but not any time like in the last ten to fifteen years. But I'm not peeing outside like you said in front of people, so I don't really have. It's been a while since I've peed outside or in a trough. But when it happens, there are the occasional times, and you could it could even be at the urinal next to a person at work or in a public place. It might just subtly happen. It's happened every once in a while to my ass. It has. Anyway, we're talking about the next um, fucking topic is another video. We're going to watch another piece of police footage. It's two. But I need to know the yeah, headline for today. First. What? I need to know the headline. So to hear the audio, you have to turn on your stream again this time, right? Because you're not piping that through either. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. But yeah, you'll figure wanna, that out. I'll just, I'll just you, you'd have to, you'll have to use the stream, the stream uh, until I that's can fine. pipe the audio properly to you. Wait, but where's your learn fly? Said something. He says I peed outside last night because I drank a ton and was so drunk I purposely went outside to pee. Yeah, but no one was watching you except for like the roaches. So it's, it that doesn't count. Doc Shade says the new format is fantastic. Well, thank you so much. Well, it will be after he incorporates all of my uh, all of his suggestions, criticisms, and suggestions. Everything that he wants done needs to be done, and then yes, it will be great. Anyway, balance this with gaming well, after not too drunk. Well, that's the problem. I felt like I don't know what happened. If is be honest, is it you or is it like you started drinking earlier when we played Spelunky? I, I drank me? earlier. That's the problem. It, but I didn't drink a bunch today earlier, so I'm fine. But I'm saying in general, it always. I mean, your your gameplay with my skill was what getting they slightly did. Better what, here's you were more what happened with Spelunky. They made it harder. Okay, they made the game harder. So Derek, you patched that thing. I used to have that shit down. I knew every trick. I knew how to get past the ice thing by doing a little cliff hang it, it's all gone all those are patched out so i'm left stuck having to have raw skill all little tricks don't work anymore so that's the real reason why i'm not not winning uh, now obviously i'm failing a lot more than i was maybe it's because i'm drunk maybe it's because he made it harder maybe it's both but i know he made it harder 
he made it a lot harder. And you can look at the patch logs and see it. It's because people talk shade, were... talk shades. There's no chance the talk show is going to cap at two drinks. I'm already on um, no. drink number like. Uh, There's no cap. Three but and we're four not going to game much. tonight afterwards because it's Labor Day and that means we got to work tomorrow. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it after after the show. But normally it'll be on Saturday and we'll fucking uh, play afterwards. But for now, we're stuck. Um, we're stuck with just a show tonight. But anyway, here's the headline. All right. So United Airlines. Right. They've got a pilot. Okay, and this more guy, than one, right? They they've got well, yes, they do. They have several pilots. They have okay. uh, they I have a get whole. That clear. I thought that was an important detail. Oh, I just <laughs> fucked that up. All right, no. All right, there we go. All right. Ah. So anyway, United Airlines got pilots, and uh, one of them was getting off of a long flight that he had just flown. He landed the plane, got off the plane, went to the employee parking lot where the employees park at the airport he was at. And this guy's name is Kenneth Henderson Jones. He's 63 years old. That's too many names. You can't have that many names. Yeah, well, he's like a serial killer or like a, a, a presidential assassin, right? Like the big boys, the ones that do the real crimes, they have three names, right? Like uh, John Wilkes Booth, right? That's how that works. Yeah. So this guy's up there. Way How up there. is that guy? What kind of a name is Sirhan Sirhan? What the fuck kind of name is that? That's not, like that, a that, that, what name. the fuck are you talking about? His name is Kenneth Henderson Jones. No, I'm talking about the guy that He's shot 63 uh, years Robert old. Kennedy. The guy that shot Robert Kennedy. Lee Harvey Oswald? No, that's Jack Kennedy. John Kennedy. Oh. Robert Kennedy, his brother. I see. PA. That's what you got to do. You got to be a Kennedy. You get yourself shot. Or killed. Yeah, but what kind of name is Sirhan Sirhan? I just don't. I've never understood how that's a real name. I don't. It's either. a made-up name, and supposedly that's the guy's name. It's a shot username. It's like bum number one or bite binge. That's how it is. He just he was the he first. Had a, he, he was the he had first a Twitch one. username but even back then. Back then, that's how it was. Sirhan Sirhan was, was the fucking shit. He was a pioneer for us all. And may we I thank him like this day for our own usernames. You bitch. Anyway. Fucking, Enough about Sirhan Sirhan. I want to yeah, hear about this guy. Yes, this, this guy, though. This pilot right here, um, he went to his car, and th th that's where we are going. The story is going to unfold in front of you after And he assassinates this point. someone. I'm waiting to hear it. But he, he gets into his car, and the parking area outside of the airport, they, they were holding people there for not paying for their parking, and they were stuck. And they were doing their credit card declines and all this or whatever was going on, but they weren't letting him through. They weren't letting him out. And this pilot, who's an employee of the air, airline, is trying to get out, and these people are blocking the way, and it's it's I think it was a very long time that it took. And he decided to get an axe out of his car, which he did, and chop down the partitioner, the thing that stops the car from going through. What is that made out of? It's made out of wood. And he's going to chop this down. He's that that was the idea anyway. But the thing that he did that was fucking stupid, he forgot to take the cover off of the axe that he used. It, it had is a protective like a rubber cover? Or yeah, or it was it like, like a protective plastic? sheath on the axe. He yeah, yeah, yeah. He forgot yeah, to I, take I have the, an axe. Yeah, I I think I've lost it, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, they, they have covers, and if you don't use axes a lot, they'll have them. So this guy's like, I've got an axe in my I, my trunk. I've had, his, had it with this shit. He goes there, but he doesn't take the cover off. So he's just whacking at this thing. He's whacking at it and whacking at it. It's not cutting shit. It's not cutting anything, and he's so pissed off, and he just fucking goes at it. And then eventually... He breaks it off, but he doesn't cut it at all, and then he's arrested. So we're going to watch this unfold before us. I'll be okay. surprised if any of you heard this story. This one went under the radar, but this happened very recently uh, on August uh, 2nd. So let's let's have a look at this and see what... <laughs> Did you see it? Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, the text is on there. I oh, got it off. There he is. That's the guy. 
So there's audio or no? No. Not on this. this no, like... I muted the audio on this. There's there was copyrighted audio. This is Yeah, please. you don't want that. Oh, so there, there he goes. He's not it. hitting it very hard. No, he can't he can't get it done. He doesn't seem to be going. He's in he's his flight putting... uniform. He's ready. He's not ready to he's fly. He's not putting his hip into it. He's not putting his body weight into it. It's like he's never never But look at <laughs> there it goes. He did manage to break the mechanism. And they're struggling with the axe now at this point, the security guard and this pilot. Now they've got another orange shirt in there. I'm surprised he's not dead. And that's and that. I'm a white guy watching another white guy get beat up. Yep. Tune in next time on White Guy Watches White Guy Getting Beat Up Television. That's what I assume the name of that television show was called. That's exactly what it was called. It was White Guy Gets Beat Up by Other White Guy. And you had some axe action in it as well. But this guy lost it. Now, he is now no longer working for United Airlines, obviously. He's, that, 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 goes, that goes contrary to their 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 policy. You know, you it, it had to have been someone for either Spirit Airlines or United <laughs> Airlines. It had to have been. Doc Shades, Whoa. thank you for gifting that shit. You're the man. And who does it go to but the most? <laughs> Arguably deserving or undeserving, depending on whether you measure it by contribution quantity or quality. <laughs> Where do you learn to fly? Where did you learn to fly is continuing to uh Did he fuck complain. up my stocks? The answer is yes, he did. He fucked my stocks up. I am a big airline investor, always have been, and I still have a ton of stocks in airlines, yes. Bad investment. No, it's not a bad investment. It's total positive. It's it's been positive the whole way. It's still positive. It was the right thing to do. The shit's still undervalued to this day. Still undervalued. <coughs> it won't be after it doubles. It'll be right. But uh, that shit is undervalued. What do you want to bet on? Long plays. Stock market. What are you betting on? The long play? Mm-hmm. I ain't doing short play right now. I ain't doing it. But long play, I don't have time for short play. I want to do it again, but I don't have time. Uh, we're well betting against the housing market. Get some no, short, there's nothing wrong with saying real estate's better than stocks. So that's your position. Real estate's better than stocks. I said if, betting against it if in you terms were, of the overall market. Okay, wait. So you would say you'd short mortgage trusts? Yeah. I mean, have you ever seen the movie uh, The Big Short? Yes. So, right? You can get some sort of whatever bond, reverse bond or whatever the fuck it was that the issue... You can do that. You could. Damn, I would not make that play. But that's an interesting one. No. I still think housing is going to go up for a while. I think it's going to be a long year before it goes down. A long year. And I would not be trying to do that. I mean, yeah, that's your long play, though. Like, how long? Five years? Is that what you put it in now? No, you put I, it in now? I'll be honest. You think it's going to just... crash right now? I'd wait no, no. for that long yeah. play. No, no, you shouldn't. I, I, just, I recently saw that movie, so it just came to mind, to be honest. It's not something I would actually do. Got it. Uh, Glad you like it. Sixty nine. I would so see fine. the most obvious thing you could do is buy defense stocks like Raytheon and General Dynamic. Yeah, maybe not NIC. Gotta NIC love systems. the gasoline drinking. I think defense stocks is where you want to be right now with World War Three looming. That's actually not a bad idea. That's not if you're going to be purely calculated about it. That is actually really good. Boeing and uh, Lockheed Martin. These are actually very solid. Raytheon, General Dynamic. The reason because they're producing so much at this point, and that is the key to profit. I don't see the need going down anytime soon. So that if you're if you're all right, if you can go to sleep at night, that that is a fantastic. Where'd you like to fly? Too. Does have an interesting question. He says, "Can a stock be made from a porn company?" Like, can, the is answer there is yes. Company? Yes, there are media companies that are. I've never invested in pornography. Like they're publicly traded. I don't think that pornography looks profitable. 
it, no, on but the like, surface, can you, like, it doesn't look profitable. Name a ticker symbol where you can invest in pornography. I can't. Can I can't name one because I didn't ever consider it. But I'm sure you can. I don't think you're going to get your money back. I think it's like investing in weed stocks. The people are more excited about the concept of what they're going to get from the company as a product than they are about how profitable they are. Uh, pro porn companies, basically, pornography is a way to make prostitution totally and completely legal. And also, maybe get your money back from it, is what I see. So, you got these dudes, and they they pay these girls to come in there and make their video and shit, and they do that. And then they sign a piece of paper, and that makes it not prostitution. And then they put it on the internet, and they make whatever money they do with that. And... It, the DVD sales and shit like that, that's, those are things of the past. The, the Playboy magazines and the Hustlers of our day, that, shit, that shit's gone. It's, it's not making the money it used to. There used to be one source for porn, not a thousand million sources for it. So I would not invest in that because of supply and demand economics, first of all. And then also the fact that, that really what porn is is... A loophole around uh, the fact that prostitution what? is illegal in a lot of places. What's the what's the ticker symbol for Bang Bros? I don't think they have one. They're probably privately no, owned. They don't. But you could you could look it up. You could find something. I'm sure there's a publicly traded pornography studio. I doubt they're making money. I doubt that their their value is going up. I doubt that their bottom line is is profit, 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 reinvestment, reinvestment, reinvestment. I don't think that's the model of... Doc company. Stades is asking you, uh, do you think prostitution should be legal? If so, how yes, would you I do? do? I think it should be legal. How? You can do whatever you want with your body. End of story. No, like, no, yeah, but how do you regulate? You have brothels and what sections of... You know what I mean? Those, those are details that are important. I think it should be independently legal. I don't think that anyone should be able to take advantage of anyone else in that situation. It, it should be... If there are brothels, they should be renting the rooms out to the people, and that should be the end of it. It should be independent. They should keep their own money. It's it's their job. They're doing it. They don't require management. That's bullshit, and I don't think that that is helpful to that situation. I think that having an overlord over the people selling sex, whether they're men or women, doesn't help the sex worker. So i'm against that okay but what about people unless there's only usually specific establishments that are allowed and licensed to practice you know prostitution right they should say you should be able you it. should be able to sell sex wherever you are in a private place so okay, if what you're about, in your home okay, you so should be able to sell sex woman, if you are in a okay, hotel let me, room you let should me be give able you to some sell obvious sex. scenarios that are going to happen all right because go for of it go for it let's 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 hear it i'm ready for this Okay. I love how this, this lady who's stuck at Burning Man is our... <laughs> you've, le you've legalized prostitution. There is now a woman being uh, removed from her house and uh, because she's in an HOA and she was practicing prostitution in her oh. HOA and it was uh, not allowed in her HOA agreement and now she is I being, think that should be illegal uh, too. A HOAs shouldn't be able to supersede that. And if they did, that the, the clause had to be written in the bylaws of the HOA before the prostitution law came into place and before the person purchased the property so they they can go to court unfortunately that's what happened hoas suck i hate hoas all right so anything to depower yeah. hoas i'm for that just as a general political alignment if you give a fuck how i'm politically aligned that's where that is no hoas okay Fucking here's HOA. another one Okay, what? Here's another one. You ha you have a court uh, proceeding where uh, a jury is deciding whether a mother or father should keep the child or have full custody or not. Right. And the father claims that the mother is pr practicing prostitution in their residence. Yep. What does the and father he's want? He's using. Uh. You mean like if she's trying to get full custody? Or what not? does the father uh, want? I don't care what the mother wants. What does the father want? Let's, the let's say the father the wants. Let's say time. no. Let's say father so, wants full custody for the sake of this. Full argument. custody? No. Nope. Half custody. Max. If he wants that, he gets to do child support. He gets to do the whole fucking nine yards of that shit. Yeah, but maybe he's that prostitute in shouldn't have been state. fucking doing that shit without uh, protection. But obviously, if it happens and the DNA proves it, that man has rights to his kid. That's how it is. 
So I agree with the but, well, The point system. I'm trying to make is if you have establishments in business zoned areas, you're talking about almost basically kind of anarchy. In terms I'm not of just saying that. Any, I'm not, any no, residence, what, someone who I'm practices saying it has legally, to be. No, no, I did different. not say that. I did not say that. Yeah, you did. You said I didn't. I said it had to be in a private area. A private area is like a hotel. No, that would be or residential. A home, something or, zoned residential. Or a right? rented residential area. Exactly. It's to be residential. Rented. Yes. Well, the. Uh, well, it, uh, to me, the idea you're going to regularly this and all residents are allowed to do this, you're really setting yourself up. What, for what's wrong? Chaos. What's wrong with that? What, what's, what because... could happen? It's already happening. What do you think? You think that's not happening? It is. It's happening all over the place. It is. I know, but. So what's the difference between not hauling these people into jail for, for making money for themselves? I don't see the fucking problem. All right. In terms of regulating and trying to keep track of whether you know everything's above board, all that usually uh, establishments that are in like business districts where this is being operated. Is no, I don't want that. I don't want pimps. Control. Fuck these pimps. They can suck my dick. These girls should make their money if they're providing a place for them to stay. That's fine. That's about what, the line. Okay. What about like, they can't what about take a house? their profits? That's bullshit. What about a house? They're the ones fucking really... these dudes. They and what and the dudes that are fucking like dudes and also girls, mostly dudes. But the dudes that are fucking girls and dudes, they also deserve the right to be able to do that without fucking going to jail. I don't know. It's just simple I, as I, that. I, I th it's no different than anyone else having sex in a private feel... residence. We we have sex in this private residence all the time. It's not prostitution. It makes the same amount of noise. It bothers the same amount of people, which is nothing. It bothers no one. That's how it needs to go down. It needs to be done privately. But you're at, no. I don't think you understand. You're basically getting pre preferential treatment and giving concessions to people when they're sex workers for working out of their house. When if you're doing a regular business, you can't do that. It's not a business that should be fucking done in that way. That's not the way that sex works. Should but you're be. you're legalizing it. It's your turn. You're I think allowing it should it be, be legal, but I don't think it Why should be legal. Why are you treating it differently than other businesses? Because it's exploitation at a level above anything. I think it's exploitation above that. That's why. Whatever. Because I think it should be zoned. I think there's like okay, okay, wait. Locations. McDonald's, right? McDonald's. You cannot just, run a McDonald's like, without all of the crew members house. in the McDonald's. You can run a fucking encounter with a prostitute without ever having anyone else involved. So the reason why it's wrong is because you don't need people exploiting the workers. The workers do it singly. It's like it's like any other job done by a single contractor. That shit is fucked, and I don't like it. I don't like any of that. I think that shit is stupid. If, I think if you're a inviting person... a lot of trouble if you're just allowing any residents throughout the United States to to practice that kind of stuff. I mean, I feel like you need to zone it. It needs to be in specific areas in your town or city. Oh, you don't you don't think that, that people should just be able to go over to wherever? No, because I don't. Someone's so. going to be no. pissed off that that thousands of of men are going into There's this. There's a one lot house. of reasons. There's a lot of reasons. First off, zoning. If you, hold on, hold on, I let, just let don't like it. I don't like that shit. Let me tell you why. That's the right way to go. So if you're gonna, you know, like think about like the food industry. I okay? know that that's how they do it now. I know that hold zoning on, like, is how they do it. I don't think that's think right. Think about the food industry. Think about the food industry. You know, like someone's labeled a restaurant. Someone goes in and looks around, like, oh, this isn't well kept. You know, like they're not putting the meat on the right whatever. How are you going to do all that sort of shit when anyone anywhere at any house can do prostitution? Who's going to go through and actually be an auditor and try to figure no out? No one audits anything. This, that's not well, that's how it a should bad be. System. It that's should, a bad no, system. No, it should be just the same. It should be treated like any other industry. Like The government can get involved if they want. They could check it out. Mm -hmm. A police officer can visit. See how the, the, the people who are the escorts or I don't sex think workers fucking police belong you're visiting you're anybody. Any Why do you want do police visiting any worker of any kind? Yep, if the police the, visited me at my job, I'd be like, fuck this job. What in the hell it should, are you it saying? Should be observed. Because it should there should be minders, there should be auditors, just like any other industry. The, things are you illegal. Can't just, you can't allow just... anyone anywhere at any house to practice this and have no government oversight. 
That's basically what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. I don't think you saying, understand yes. how much liberty I, you're giving. I think liberty is. I don't priceless. think you need no liberty to do things that are illegal because the government. They're not illegal in my world. They're legal now, so it's a different I'm story. The, I'm not going to cite the kind of stuff that could go on in the system that you're pitching. You just tried, but but I still think well, I'm not going work. into dark specifics. The but thing is, it's already happening. Like, so there it, are there are women there are women running prostitution shit out of their house with men pulling up into their sure. apartment complexes and and getting out and doing them and coming out at all hours of the day, and nothing's happening to them unless they go to jail, and then they go to jail and sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, and it sucks for them, all right, and it doesn't help anybody. That's that's I feel what like I. You're see. not taking into account how dark this world is. And that if you, you if think you it's gonna, you, anyone... you, you think if you give fucking like fat cat business owners the ability to control and regulate it, that it won't be dark? What the fuck? It'll be so dark. That shit'll I'm be dark you're, as fuck. You're giving this freedom to any residents throughout the United States. Are this, how are you gonna? I'm giving it freedom of the world. How fuck you... United States. Like everyone should just be able to you're have their own body the and do whatever now? they what want to it. About? If they want to sell it, they can sell it. If they want to tattoo it, they can tattoo it. If they want to piss in a fucking bush, they can piss in a fucking bush as long as it's not in a fucking school or some shit like that. There's some fucking, like, just humanity, right? It's your fucking yeah. body. Why the hell shouldn't it be? Like, and you, know, you should the... decide if you want to buy someone else's or if you want to fucking sell your own. That's not my... Who am I to fucking say that? Who is anybody? Who is anybody to fucking ta say, all right, but only if you work under me and follow my rules and pay me can you can you sell your body? Fuck that. That's bullshit. Your, okay. your system works if no one ever does anything wrong with the power you're getting. No one ever... What is wrong people? with having sex with someone? Uh, I... I, I, I that's a stupid. Let me finish what I'm saying. That, that that's system, what you're saying. That's your all that the no. only law is you can't have sex with someone and pay them. That is the only law we're talking about. How how is that at all what I'm saying? I'm I'm talking about what you're what you're basically opening the door to <coughs> is all these already sex trafficking industries that exist throughout the world operating in individual houses with no government under no no you think it's just going to be an epidemic this after this law comes out that every woman on the planet is going to sell their everything. body? You're allowing it's not going to happen. Gonna happen. No, only a certain amount of people choose to do that. It's not going to change. There aren't just going to be a okay, flood well, of people being like, oh, yeah, people, let me spread my legs for $50. That's not going to happen. You're pretending like this industry doesn't already exist and they would not move in to fill the vacuum that you the, just the, opened. The, the, the industry exists. Exposed. The industry exists. That's what I'm saying. It just wouldn't be yeah, persecuted anymore. There's no more demand. All right? That's the issue. The demand's uh, not going to increase just because it becomes available. And if it does, then that will be filled by the people who do it privately. And it'll be fine. There are people who use that kind of service the idea and people that no who don't. Gonna, I'm not going to go use this. that service no just one's because ever it becomes available. No one's ever going to like have people who are underage. No one's ever going to have people who shouldn't be doing it because they have diseases. How are you going to track all that if you just saw anyone you, anywhere, any house? You, as an operate. individual business of you, have the opportunity to test yourself and publish your tests and do things to make yourself a more attractive uh, product, right? That's how you do it. You compete. It's capitalism. That's that's how I see it. And if you want to deal with a $5 person that doesn't have a test, that definitely has herpes, but you're willing to do that for $5, I don't want you to go to jail for it. I think that's a waste of my money. That's what it comes down to at the end of the day. That's a waste of my money to put that person in jail who obviously is sad and needs someone to help them out fucking release themselves so badly that they're willing to give themselves a disease and they've made that choice for themselves. The least I can do for such a poor fucking pathetic fucking unfortunate piece of shit is not throw them in jail for it. What about people who are only working there because the owner of the house is giving them drugs? Like what I'm trying well, to say is, that's that's illegal, and we can we can deal with that. How are that's, you going to figure all that out? That that point, that land that needs to be dealt in landlord court, and landlord court should not allow that. 
Real estate court should fix that. I don't think you can deal with that with intelligent real estate laws that don't allow landlords to do things like make their tenants give them blowjobs because that's not right. It's it's it has to be done in a way that does not exploit people it's easy actually in my mind it's just easy the more freedom you give people and the less allowance that's exactly what i'm trying to say the government's not going to be able to track who's being exploited because you're allowing everyone to legally do it in any residence that ever exists throughout the entire united states how can you possibly sit there it can still be illegal to exploit them and whether they track it or not when it happens it will be punished and that's enough it's already the same today people are being exploited all the time it's punished it should be so that's that's the stance I have on it. That's that's plain and simple. So anyway, back to the topic at hand. That was a good topic that we did not have a picture for. Instead, we have this poor lady who has taken the place right. of our prostitute picture for that last discussion, traipsing through Burning Man in uh, Arizona. And apparently the people are trapped there, and they are going to be able to get out today. This is the day they can leave. They're allowed to leave. They closed it. They closed them in. And I heard Chris Rock escaped somehow. Did you hear this? No. You did not. Well, Chris Rock somehow, even though they closed the venue, managed. Why is he there? Hmm? He was a performer. Why is Chris Rock there? He was performing there, obviously. Was he the, was he the Burning Man himself? No, he wasn't. The Burning Man's an effigy. It's a bunch of wood. It's wood. I thought they put Nicolas Cage in it sometimes. Nicolas Cage. I don't understand. Don't they put Nicolas Cage in the burning rain and set it on fire? Is that not what happens? No. That's an interesting idea. And he says, You should contact the 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 committee or whatever for 2024. My understanding is that Nicolas Cage gets put in. He gets stung by a bunch of bees and then they set him on fire. That's my understanding of what Burning Man is all about. I, mean, I could be wrong, but I remember I remember him exclaiming out, "Not the bees!" Have you ever thought about what they do? Is they take a candle and they like they put it on your chest and like burn it till like it sticks to it, and then they put a jar of bees over the candle and they let it flow onto your stomach, and they they also like uh, put your your head inside of an enclosure and then like hook up a hive of bees bees to fly into your head and sting you all over. And then they burn you. That's what Burning Man. I think that's that's think what that's, that's what how you feel year. that Burning Man is. It's when you get it's yeah. when you get a candle think, melted onto your navel to the point where yeah. it, it just burns out and there's just wax melted all over your navel. And then you get a jar of bees onto that for some reason after it's already melted and and then resolid, and you put them on there so that, that they're in there. And then you also get your head with a yep. attachment to a hive of bees. Which yes. then flies into your head and stings you. That's Burning Man. Everybody I gets think stung. So. Is everybody or just one guy? No, just, just Nicholas Cage. Cage. Just Nicholas Cage. Cage. Okay, I get it. Submit that shit, dude. Burning Man 2024, right? Like you've got an idea. That shit's fire. Well, they also have to put a little camera inside so you can see his expression as he's stung a thousand times in the face. I think anyway, it's a movie I saw once. Is that? Do you think that reflects celebrity privilege here? That Chris Rock got out of there. This is celebrity privilege. Like, the average Joe Mama and Joe Papa at Burning Man had to stick I through the mud a and beg off food. Flying low, dropping that little ladder thing that comes down, and like he jumps up and grabs it, and then he like it gets lifted up. He's like, "See you later." Right? That's what he'd and say. And he flicks off every, and he like. As he's holding on, he flicks off everyone below him like this. He's like, "Oh, you f- suck my dick!" He'd be, he'd be That's on what that. I imagine as he as he's lifted off and flown away. He he would. That's he what would, I imagine. I think he'd be just like that, and his fucking manager would be in his helicopter, just be like, "Yeah, that's right." <laughs> and he pisses down on them as he's <laughs> lifted away on the helicopter. That's I, what I imagine happened. That's how I imagine it going down. Well, all right. I gotta get another drink. Yep, get another get drink. Back. I need another. I well, I've got. I gotta drink mine. I've got half of this bitch left. I need to hurry. Get it up. Let's bring up our next topic. Here we go. Uh, 
there we go. You can guess what this is. It's another story. Another story for you to consider this night. You thought you knew it all. You read the Google News. But you don't know what the fuck is up in front of you right now. Just take a good look. Because this, this is a scoop right here. It's a scoop of goodness. <laughs> Delicious. I need to do more of this. There we go. This motherfucker's gone. I need to be in charge of this motherfucker. Yeah, it's not people stomping on whoppers. Have a look. Let me let me give this chat box a little bit of a clear here. I'm just going to... It ain't McDonald's. Nope. I'm not, I'm not even going to tell you where it's from. All right, I put the chat box back. You can still chat. But I just wanted to give you all a clear, clear fucking look at what you're looking at without... Where do you learn to fly is text wall fully... Well, let me tell you, Cump, about a vape shop. I don't know about vape shops, um, but I know about the concept of taking pro product loss. So um, Sony decided to do this uh, because big companies have several sources of income. Some of them are intellectual property income, and some of them are like for manufacturing products, and some of them are for like any other number of, of things that they do. But uh, services is the main one. The third one is the main one. But intellectual property services and you've got um, products actually like manufacturing. So in the case of this vape shop, I don't know. But in the case of Sony, they decided to sell the PlayStation at a loss, which is a controversial decision. But they did that because they are doing intellectual property licensing and they are also building software for the product and they want the product to be uh, successful and they know that the price point that would bring them profitability would more than likely with the consumer market surveys that they took not result in sales so that is the reason why they did that now this vape shop if they're doing that if they're selling a product at a loss the reason they're doing that is they're making a conscious and data driven decision or they're idiots but it's probably a conscious data-driven decision to keep that product in because it relates to additional sales. They probably buy a bunch of fucking weed shit as well as whatever vape they're buying or who knows. But whatever it is, they've got that data. They're making that decision consciously or they're retarded. Most business owners, most business people are not retarded. They're, they're smart. They think about that shit. They care about it because it's the difference between them being open or closed the next year. So businesses that are stupid, they don't succeed unless they're still having a good model and just have poor leadership. It does happen. It does happen where you got that and you just instead of being immensely successful, you just barely float by. That happens a lot. But the reality is that. Pure stupidity gets crushed in the business world. It's it's just totally shat on. I think that, that anything can be sold at a profit. You just have to find the right price. And if you want to lower the price, you can either take parts and supply them at lower prices. You can make your manufacturing more lean which means that you uh, reduce the number of steps required to complete the manufacturing of the product. Or you can also reduce loss costs like shipping, freight. You can reduce all kinds of different things in a business to try to save money. There's, there's a lot of ways to make profit happen, even if you are not necessarily initially profitable with your first um, model or your first production environment. It's just the way of business. That's how business works. I don't know what this guy's doing, but if you think he's not... I don't know who you're even talking about, where do you learn to fly, but I doubt... Maybe it... Riddle me this. It may be possible, and just think this. It may be possible that this local shop is conning you. 
and telling you they're taking a loss to make you think that you're getting a good value for what you're purchasing. Have you looked up the product? Have you seen what it wholesales at? Are you confirming that this shit's sold at a loss? Because people are out to fuck you where do you learn to fly if you didn't notice. And they will fuck you if they have any opportunity to do so. So you might just be fucked. That's all what there kind is of to it. The opportunity to uh, um, trick you into thinking you're getting a good deal when in reality you're actually still giving the company a profit. What? We were talking about businesses that I'm out of my items. element. You're not out of your element. I'm out of my element. Okay, good. You, you're actually not. It's uh, we're talking about businesses that sell items that are not profitable for the reason that they could still make profit in other places. And someone's got a vape story about a vape shop selling something at a loss, and it sounds like that person's just deceiving. The customer is what you know. What? Like. I found this interesting. You know what percentage that like Costco Let's take the chat makes? box off for a second here. Like, right. did you know, like what percentage would you think that Costco makes like on their membership versus like their actual sales? Um, what would I think? Like, what percentage do they make off? What of percentage of their total versus... profit is membership membership sales? And everything, all the loss is is divided equally among the membership sales and the grocery sales, correct? I don't know what you mean. The loss of what? All the loss costs, all the shipping, all of the stuff that happens along the way to make the products get in the store. And Oh, all... okay. So you're saying that doesn't go toward the profit. The membership uh... doesn't have any of those loss costs associated let's just say, with let's it. Let's just say, okay, fine. I get that. Yeah. So if, if you start, if you if you adjust for that and you look at the revenue then because the membership's profitable only because the groceries are there so it's dependent on that right sure yeah yeah so that shit's that that you have to count that in i would think that memberships counted for about five to ten percent of the profit if you account the lost cost in as for revenue i'll bet the the the, the, the if you look at the the department that rev that revenue is all the way up there, and it's probably a hundred percent revenue, and they're not taking any losses because they've got to pay a few fixed assets to get the memberships. They've got a computer person to deal with their system and shit and all that. But ultimately, it's not a lot of cost to get these memberships collected and stuff. But anyway, take a look at the screen. What do you think you're seeing here? Uh, a bunny foot. Yeah, that that looks like a foot. That ain't a bunny foot. So let me uh, let me explain to you what this is. This happened very recently where uh, Thomas Howie of uh, Madison Heights, Michigan, went into an Olive Garden restaurant and ordered the minestrone soup and then proceeded to pull out this rat leg, severed rat leg, from said soup, took some pictures of it, obviously, and is now suing Olive Garden for $25,000. $25,000 is the lawsuit. And in return, they are expecting, or in return, Ronald, uh, Olive Garden is telling uh, people that this guy is a foot planner, that this guy planted the foot in the soup to get the 25k this guy's not going for a million like the mcdonald's coffee lady that got burned from the fucking coffee which now has thousands of warnings on it and is colder the the guy is going for 25k for his fucking uh medical bills which involve a hole in the side of his mouth that was created by the claw of the foot because he put it in his mouth and also, the tetanus shots and other things you need to get because of contact with this animal. So, the question comes, there's two questions here. This, this, this invokes a lot of discussion. Obviously, very current events. This, this happened very recently. And uh, they're, they're currently figuring this out in the Macomb Circuit Court. 
because this guy ate this this fucking minestrone soup. But there's the discussion of how easy is it to just get twenty five thousand dollars from a major corporation, right? Who has the most access to fucking rat feet in the world, right? Poor people. They have the most access to rat feet. Those rat feet are all around. Prisoners have access to rat feet. Pharmaceutical That's... companies have the most access to rat feet. They, they have it too. They do. They have some. But I don't think they could leverage it. Like, given, given the amount of people in their facilities compared to the rats. I mean, there are rats in there, though. Don't get me wrong. They, they got some access to that there. They, there are some other markets, but I'm saying poor people have a corner on the rat foot market. They just do. This is a fact. So these people can just grab rat foots by the dozen, right? Just lop them right off and go to your local Subway, your local McDonald's, your local Burger King, your local uh, Hooters, whatever fucking rest- Hooters? restaurant. Yeah, Who's going why not? Hooters? Hooters? <laughs> Can you imagine that how much they'd bounce around after you see a fucking rat suit in the motherfucking soup? There are going to be some surprised motherfucking people jumping up and down in that motherfucker. That can't be bad. Right? I mean, I guess it could be bad, but I mean, I mean, if you get poked with the foot, it wouldn't be good. I don't know how wild this getting in there, though. I don't fucking know how wild it's getting in there. But anyway, so now we know your strategy when you go to a club. Welcome back, Smooth Dog. It's been a long time, man. It has been a long fucking time. Welcome back. I haven't seen your ass in a fucking minute. So welcome back to the, the fucking show. But anyway, anyone could just fucking get a rat foot nowadays and just go to their local establishment, put it in their shit, pull it out, make a TikTok real quick, go to the manager... Be pissed off about it, and then now they can file. A, they can file a motion in their fucking. They can file a civil suit in their in their fucking municipal court and get 25k to actually. I think this guy could get more money. I'm surprised they went. This is a low baller here. I wonder if that's why Subway was like no, or not Subway. Olive Garden was like no. This guy's asking for too little. It couldn't have been us. We didn't do it. We didn't put the rat foot in there. That's a planted rat foot. They need forensic you... teams for this shit. DNA evidence. You were saying? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know how you prove whether someone planted a rat foot in their dish or not. I mean, that's... It's going to be up to the courts to decide But how many times is the question. We need to start a revolution. It's the rat foot revolution, the cockroach leg revolution, the beetle head revolution, whatever it is that you have. If you don't have money, you need to get rich or at least get back on your feet. You need to just rip a poor animal's fucking body apart. It's clear. This is... Look at it. It's right in front of you. You learn by example. It's delicious, too. The thing is, they wasted all this meat. That's the sad part about this. This is this is what the real takeaway is. Is that shit... That should have been consumed... Can you imagine like what the uh, chef's reaction is when he the guy mentions to his server that there's a rat foot in his dish? Oh, that's she goes suck. back to the that's, she goes that back can't to the be the, That's not the day you want to have. <laughs> and uh, she brings the dish with. Well, that's the other thing. Is like, does he somehow keep the dish for evidence, or does he? They take it back to the kitchen and say sorry about that, and they kept it. You know what I mean? And there's no evidence of it. You know what I mean? Like you just cover the whole thing up because the guy's like, hey, there's a fucking rat foot in the dish. Oh, I'm so sorry. You take that dish. But he's like, no, you can't have it. This is evidence of my future court case against you. You can't have it from me. You know what I mean? Like, how does that go God, down? I, where does possession come in the law? That's a very good question. This is where we need a lawyer as a guest to come in here and clarify these issues. These are pressing issues, too. This is going to become a hot topic in the future. I'm the first to report it, obviously. But... I mean, this I get it. He takes a picture of it, but like, when you complain about it, aren't they gonna like, oh my god, let me take this back to the kitchen and tell? Them. You know what I mean? Then you don't have it anymore. You don't. Yeah, but that's why you make the TikTok, and it goes viral. Wait, and then wait, there's a TikTok you, about you it. The, yeah, there's a TikTok. That's the thing. You make the TikTok about the the fucking rat foot, and then you give it back to the server. You've got this evidence. This is a screen grab right here, and and we can you can look at it. And you can see this wait, as a what, fucking rat. It just looks rat. like it looks like it's, it's a garbanzo skeleton? beans. 
and fucking rat foot and and fucking uh looks like some tomato maybe a chewed up but fucking it looks like he ate a 90 percent of the dish and then got to this rat foot that's what it looks like according to the article it was in the first spoon of then the dish. why is there nothing else in this screenshot? Why is it just skillet or whatever that is underneath? He poured it out. He took it out of his spoon and poured it out. All that's, right. That's what happened. So I, I don't, I, I mean, I don't know if it was planted or not. Obviously, I'm not a soothsayer. So I couldn't tell you if that was a fucking planted toe or if that toe it was. It, it's, it's just like the Big Lebowski. They're learning. They're learning from the plots of the best movies on earth and if you want on the ground floor of this movement here you better get in quick because eventually they're going to nip this shit in the bud they'll figure a way to solve it they'll figure a way out to keep this out of the courts because i mean all you need to do is just find a trimming you know of anything i mean you could even already be dead you could find a fucking piece of roadkill on the side of the goddamn road just pick it up saw that shit off you're good to go you got a raccoon paw. Shove that shit into whatever you want. Is this You're one of your money. life hack suggestions? The what? Is this one of your life hack suggestions? It is. It's it's a definitely a life hack. This is. It's it's. Okay. But I'm not gonna do it because I don't need it because I don't have any rat feet around because I'm not poor. See, the, it's about supply and demand. <laughs> that's that's what it's about. It's about supply and demand, and clearly there's a supply. And clearly, you flies this McDonald's cup you can get money your nuts, pull the sack out of your pants, and douse that shit. You'll be set for life. Well, they already did you that, know, so now they have enough story. warnings. My dad told me a story who was drafted into Vietnam about how he witnessed a guy uh, shoot himself in the foot in front of the person that you come into when you've got drafted, and he shot himself. He literally shot himself in the foot in front of the the the, the draft office or whatever to show them that he's willing to shoot himself to get out of the draft and that's how he got out of it wow that's dedication right there that's a lot of de- and they said and he said now when i shoot myself on the foot i want you to take me to the hospital you promise you will like uh i mean we you shouldn't but i mean yeah of course you blam he shoots him like it, like my my dad witnessed this that's this is crazy insane <sighs> Well, it happened, and honestly, I wouldn't do that to dodge the draft, but I'd find a way. I'd get a lawyer, and I'd get it done. I wouldn't go, and like unless it was really a a a, a real – unless my home was in danger, in which case, of course, I would go. But it's – it's the luckily, the draft hasn't been instated. I did – I signed up for selective services, but I would have dodged the shit out of that. I would have found a way. Because I don't well, want it hasn't to go to been war. used. It hasn't been used since Vietnam. Unless I'm under attack, in which case then I, I mean it I hasn't been used since Vietnam, right? It was, it and I, I wouldn't have. I would not. I would not have no, been a part it of it. It has not been used since. Not the since Vietnam. Vietnam no, war. thank God. That shit's fucked up. It shouldn't be used unless it's for self-defense. That's. It should be the fucking law should be changed. It's stupid, and girls should have to do it too. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna throw that out there. They should. So. If, if it's home defense and we get the law straightened out so that it's not just dudes and they can't be sent into a foreign nation and you got home defense draft, that's what you got. Fucking get the girls in there too. All right, come on. They can they can do stuff. They're not fucking incapable. They are very capable. So that's how I'd change that. I don't know how popular that'd be, but... I think it'd be popular just because then the selected services would not be able to be deployed. That you couldn't send them overseas. I think that's enough, really. And then adding the women just makes them stronger. It's just it makes it a bigger bigger potential army when when the emergency comes when some fucking foreign invader actually tries to do the stupidest thing in the world and invade the place with the most guns on earth, which is uh, America. We have the weapons. We have all of them. For every person, we have two or three, including the women. How much of that matters when you're using biological warfare nuclear missiles as part of your stuff? Because Echo, it's good to fucking see you. I don't know. It's good to see you getting like not allowed. I don't know you're why. Getting censored. The you're getting cunts. censored by Bezos. I don't know why cunts is not allowed, but it is now. Like, without people like you, Kose, I would not be able to teach my chat filter what to allow. Yep. Now you got it. Now you can do it. 
it's it's been allowed it took this long it took two years to get cunts into the um, filtered words can't believe it it's just because I'm not using the chat that's the only reason but anyway um, you recently went to uh, Dragon Con so we'll fucking throw that up there there's a picture of I Dragon did. Con right there can you tell us a little bit about that experience who'd you meet what happened what was the highlights tell us about your shit I didn't do a whole lot there. I didn't go to any parties or anything, but I did go there. We went to a, a an adult puppet show. I think it was the only panel we went to. You only went to one uh, panel, and it was an adult puppet show. That sounds like a good one to go to. Tell us what the plot was. Well, the plot of the first one was about uh, <laughs> a, a praying mantis queen who was trying to get dressed for her wedding, and... Uh, for whatever these other bugs that are trying to dress the the mantis queen in different costumes and uh of course the mantis queen is talking about eating the head of her husband after she marries him and uh basically being ups- sometimes thinking the costume is great but thinking and then sometimes it's not and then eating the heads off of the 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 bug servants that are uh, providing dresses as if they're tailors, I guess. That was the first act. What was the second, the second act? Second act was about a bat, which they had this thing, they had like a pole across, and they had this big bat sort of thing, and a guy actually doing the puppetry of it and some sticks of it, having a cell phone the whole uh, skit. And it was about a bat that was working with another uh, opossum on buying storage units. You know, like how you go and you... It's popular, yeah, things. yeah. I have a friend who does that. His name is Paul. So, uh... Buys it's about like the bat the dozen. buying storage units while hanging upside down the entire skit. Uh, try, trying to coordinate with his friend on... Because he couldn't make it. Did he have to bidding. get a HELOC? No. Why would he get a HELOC? So that he could buy more storage units. No, he did not. That's that's a, they that's asked a plot point that he missed. That pop, plot that's point. a big plot point on the the storage. The, plot points the storage talking... unit journey includes a HELOC every time, more than one usually. Why do you say that? What are you talking about? I'm just talking a home about home equity loan. A home equity loan. Yes, that's how you buy more storage units. Okay. You got to do why it. Is, why, is that every something time. that's very common? People that buy storage yes, units? it's super common. It happens, and and then they they try to uh, snowball the storage units. Uh, they keep okay, it hold, going. Hold on. Uh, they'll pay off a loan. And hold then on. I, I, I think I got to step out for a second. I'm being summoned. They'll be right back. All right. All right. He's stepping away for the minute. So I have nothing to say about fucking Dragon Con. So let me see if I can bring up something else. It's got to be anything else that we can talk about that's not fucking Dragon Con. It's, I didn't go to fucking Dragon Con. All right, I want to talk about this guy right here. All right. So have you seen this motherfucker? Do you know who he is? Chat, if you're out there, let me know if you if you know who this is. Because I'm trying to fill dead time while Bite's out doing whatever the fuck he's doing. So let's talk about this guy. That's Coffee fucking Zilla. That's right. All right. Let me tell you about this guy. All right, I got a lot of respect for this motherfucker. He's he's a fucking top G if I ever saw one. He is out there. He's an internet detective. He is someone like me. He hacks. He knows how to get through computer systems. He knows how blockchain uh, payment systems work. He knows how to read records in blockchain payment systems. He knows how to connect different wallets and things that are done with digital currency using the blockchain as evidence against people who scam other people using blockchain centric money he is a living legend not only is he able to do all of this which he literally does he literally does these investigations but he also has a full-on production studio that rivals this one unfortunately and he has everything set up in a way where he can reproduce his fucking content and focus on the detective work and not on the production 
and he still is able to fucking crank out these things like they're goddamn like movie level detective cases so i fucking love this guy he is a hero and if you don't know who he is he's fucking recommended by me he has called out such motherfuckers as sam bankman freed who we can see here in this motherfucking picture he uh he was a ftx ceo he had some crackheads and other people working under him and uh what he, what he did was he had a bunch of shell companies and things and promised people that they were their money was going to be handled in a certain way and it wasn't the main issue with what he did from what i understand i don't know what the fuck he's going to do when it comes down to nailing bitebench i don't think bitebench invests in crypto so i think that he's safe but the FTX online exchange was a big disaster because they claimed that they were keeping all of this cash and that they were not using it. So investors would put their money in there and there was this cash pool that was supposed to be available that was their funds and they could get them out at any time. But they used those funds to attempt to make money in this different ways and were unsuccessful doing so so that's where the major illegality comes i believe in his case and if you want to know more about it you can look at fucking coffeezilla who you can see right here and you can look his ass up on youtube that's a worthwhile fucking journey to go on you can learn about all kinds of fucking scams and shitty things <coughs> It's fucking ridiculous. Bites back. There he is. Welcome back. It's good I'm gonna to put be, back. I'm putting it back onto Dragon Con here. I was talking about Coffeezilla a little bit. It's a topic you don't know a lot about. It's too bad you missed it. You'll have to watch How the How do you know? Oh, do you? Oh, tell me about Coffeezilla. Remember, there's this uh, kaiju, they call it. There's this kaiju called Godzilla. And Godzilla was a kaiju, and he lived in Japan, and he used to destroy cities and eat electricity from power lines. And then there was this uh, this super this basically monster that appeared. Uh, it was called Starbucks. And Starbucks, the monster, shot coffee, which is like this energetic liquid that makes you really alert and awake, and shot it into Godzilla's mouth. And Godzilla turned into Coffeezilla, and that was the plot of the movie. Wow. Well, you nailed it. I couldn't. I said it better myself. Anyway, I just need to switch us back to what we were on before. There we go. So, as you were saying about Dragon Con before you so rudely interrupted yourself. <laughs> oh, yeah, so... Okay, yeah, it was at the puppet show. There's yeah, the second act like so it was a bat. They basically just turned into uh, the mom was calling him, and so was the guy about the the storage unit. And the mom turned out to be living inside the storage unit that they bit on. And so when they opened up the garage, it was the bat's mom living there in the storage unit. Wow, that they bought. It was one of the ones that you, they said, like, this one, you can't look in it. They said they can't open it. They had to buy it sight unseen. I love those storage units. Those are the best ones. I've never bought one, but I've that watched was, other people buy them. That was story two. Would you, you ever do that? Storage Wars? Would you ever do that? Would you ever buy a storage unit sight unseen? Just to no. see what the fuck's in there? I got, no. too, many, I got too many other things I going think that'd on make a good there. video. I mean, just as a life experience, I guess, doing it once just to see what happens. How would we split it? How could you do that? What if there was like gold coins in there or some shit like that? What would you do? What You'd if there's something but 50 rotted 50? clothes? Be oh, that's probably what it'd be. It'd be roaches and shit. But like bed bugs, perhaps, that you could take home with you. But like, what if you won? What if you really got like a treasure? What if someone was like storing pure silver and shit and gold in there? You got it. That'd be badass, right? It would. I'm wondering why Nasty Man says, when is he going to nail Bitebench for shits and giggles? Why would I get nailed? 
No, you're talking about CoffeeZilla, dude. CoffeeZilla is gonna nail your ass. Really? That's why. Yeah, definitely. I never found That's out. That's what they were I talking mean, about. I obviously, I know what CoffeeZilla is. I already explained it earlier. But what are you talking about? They were saying that CoffeeZilla was gonna get your ass. That's what they were saying in chat. I'm clarifying it as very clearly as I can. That's what they're saying. They're saying he's coming for your ass. Is that a guy? Is it like Hulk Hogan? You said it. You said it was a fucking monster that spits coffee out of his mouth. If I remember no. correctly, it was some. No, I said. I what? said okay, I'm sorry. I misquoted you. After the monster called Starbucks shoots super powered liquid energy, brown energy into Godzilla's mouth, right as he's spitting electricity. Oh, it was Godzilla. Comedy. Actually, is Coffeezilla. So that is Godzilla. It, so so that's coming for you, essentially coming for you that's what they were saying i don't understand that's coming for me they're still saying he's coming for you they're all coming for you dave 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 it's not dave. wendy's it's not dave thomas man i know where you were going not with dave that thomas. it's not no i was actually i was gonna say uh super dave the cartoon Super Dave, if he yeah, came for you, yeah. would that be so bad? Well, they're warning you, man. Came for I don't me? think that's the Dave they're talking about. What am, what am I doing to spur him to come for me? I mean, you you're a you're a prime well, what candidate. Am I, doing exactly? I, I I you are a prime candidate for any kind of victimization. So, I I can understand where they're coming from. I don't want to give away though anything that you might not know that you think you do. Is that like Freddy Krueger? Like he says, I'm coming for you. You're just gonna have to watch the VOD, man. That's the beauty you know, of the show. If they did, it's, if they it's, did it's a, it's a, it's a Street, rewatcher. That's that's the beauty they, of this if one. If they did Nightmare on Elm Street number nine or whatever number they're on, and it'd be Freddy Krueger, and he says, I'm coming for you. But the thing is, if Freddy Krueger was jacking off, he would slice up his penis, wouldn't he? He's got those scissor hand things. Yeah, that would be rough. I I think he's just basically. That's why he's so pissed off. He's got to be. He's got to be leaking constantly. He's constantly leaking in his fucking pants. I mean, that's why they're what, all what fucking world ripped up and living stained and when shit. you got those those blade claws on you, and you just want to jerk it and just to feel some relief. You know what I mean? Like, you get on with your day. Yeah, you know, you, you're gonna leak. That's 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 the other alternative. The other alternative to jacking off is leaking everywhere. That's the other alternative, and it sucks. And nobody del nobody deals with that. Unless they're getting pussy all the time. <coughs> In which case, they're Kirksley. not dealing with it. Nobody yeah, deals Kirk, with it. Kirksley is here. He says, first time watching the stream, I was watching Namo Sensei's Japanese lessons and came here. You came here first time to see Dumpster Talk. Well, welcome to the motherfucking program, you bitch. It's really me. We're really here discussing the news of the day. You need to watch the VOD. Because there was an hour of this shit. An hour of it before we even got here. We just relived a puppet show, and now we are dealing with Bipinge's irrational fear of Coffeezilla, who he thinks is Godzilla, who has been fed a coffee mixture from Starbucks that mutated his electric breath into something deadly. You need to understand. Oh, energizing, actually. Energizing and deadly to the rest of the world after Godzilla is, is consumed it. Kirksley is excited. For whatever is about to happen. Yep, something is know, about to happen. Know. We're about to go to the next stage of our program, which is an interesting segment. I'm going to try it a different way, and maybe, maybe it's worth doing this way. Maybe not. We'll see. And, and you know what? I bought at Dragon Con. I bought two shadow box arts. Ooh, what? Which ones did you get? Let's let's hear about your fucking uh, your decorative purchases before we go on to this next topic. I bought. You ever you ever see the cartoon The Hobbit from like the nineteen seventies? Yeah, definitely. Saw it so in school. So there's a shadow box art of that. That's which I pretty bought my, I bought it for my parents. Oh well, so then it's not did. yours. So that one's not yours. Okay, so what's it's the currently one you mine? I haven't given it to him yet. It's mine. It's in my uh, possession. Uh, so you're not gonna give it to him. You're gonna fucking hoard the shadow box. You're I, gonna have the Middle Earth you know, shadow box. You know what's weird? I already teased it to them that I had an expensive present. I bought. Because it's somewhat expensive. But I bought a Dragon Con. But the other one, 
Metroid. Metroid Met original NES. It's an artist rendering of uh, Samus in some sort of lava environment. It looks really cool. Is it eight bit oh, or is it sixteen bit? What what bit are artist we rendering? At? It's not bit. It's you not, know what I mean, game it's from? Come on. It's not. It's an did you not rendering. play the Metroid games? You should it's be able not, to tell. It's not pixel art. It's just an artist. It's different. Rendering. It's different. Okay, so it's like drawn. Yes. Okay, that's interesting. You're gonna have to show that off, but uh, it's in a box. I have to go. No, you'll have to show it off it later. Open. Obviously, it's for oh, another, yeah, another time. For later. another time. Hey, while I was at my parents, so we can get into video games, I went and found I had some a retail video game boxes still in their basement, and so I brought a box of some of my uh, video game vintage retail box stuff here back to my house and guess what i picked up what oh yeah this was in there you got a red nintendo 3ds in box yeah are you gonna open it well i mean i had to open it to get the system out when i first bought it and it just rips open it's not like one of those flaps so i had to like rip the glue clean but I mean, I got all the inserts and shit in here. I don't even know what I still have in here. You, I mean, you did, you did, you did open it. You opened it up. I know, but I mean, I opened it a long time ago. Why won't this come open? Ow. Oh, that's why. You see? Oh yeah, my retail box for my 3DS that I bought a long time ago. I don't know if you remember when the 3DS came out. It was expensive. It was like two hundred and eighty dollars or something insane. When it first came out, do you remember that? When they first released the 3DS? Yeah, they were very expensive. I mean, I weighed, they dropped it down to like uh, 180 or something. They dropped it to like 180, and that's when I finally jumped in, and it already had uh, the Mario game and stuff. So, in terms of what's in here, this looks like I just have the manual and stuff. I have the uh, what the system was kept in this little bag. So I wow. have the paperwork, manual stuff in here. And so I have this retail box. I was at my parents. I looked in the basement. Like, I, like some of my stuff is still here, right? And I found this. Bye, Binge. We're getting a phone call. You are? Yes. Nice. From who? Tell me. Who is it? It's... Donald Trump. He's just gotten on the line. We're going to put him on just a second. All right, I'll I'll like I'll be quiet then. I guess. You got to route him through. I mean, he's got to be on a secure line, I think. Thank you. Well, let me tell you about Vince. I had the best opinion oh. about Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Do I get to interview you? I th Yeah. Okay. You know what's really interesting? It's really interesting that... Yeah, okay, now I'm the interviewer. Got it. Mr. Trump, I've been waiting a long time to be able to interview about this. Well, thank you. I know. I'm honored myself. So I was thinking, have you ever seen the movie Flash Gordon? Yeah, I watched that these. You, you seen that? Uh, Jake. So, I just succeed. I win. You succeeded at watching Flash Gordon. Yeah, I watched the movie. You were successful in the movie called Flash Gordon. I win everything I try, everything I did. So I was wondering, do you, do you th see yourself as the hero in that Flash Gordon, or you know the guy that's like trying to control the universe? Are you trying to control I'm the universe, the or are you hero. the guy with the wings? I'm the hero. I'm your hero. I'm America's hero. Okay. Do you have wings? Let me tell you about it, Inch. Opening those collectibles, that's a disaster. An absolute bad thing. You gotta keep the deal, like my incredible deal, unopened. They like gold. Pure gold. People love things that are uncut, like Mike Hater. Mike Hater? My hair. My beautiful oh, 
So, so are you saying that your hair is what's going to drive you to the second term of your presidency? Yes. Absolutely. Well, is it better than it's ever been? I, I have the best hair ever. I have the best nostalgia ever. You don't understand nostalgia. Helping those things destroys their value faster than my department standing in the bank. It's like taking a beautiful piece of real estate and turning it into a cheap hotel. People lot like things that are unopened, unused, like a brand new golf course. Oh, well, I mean, I understand you like playing golf. Are, are you good enough to beat someone like uh, Barack Obama at golf? Like, who do you think could win at golf? Uh, I, I'll win every time. I'm the best okay, golfer so that's ever graced the presidential course. I deliver scores. So, so Obama wanted to... Scores. So, like, let's just say Obama made a bet with you. He's like, you know what? If I win this game, I will uh, repeal Obamacare. I'll get all the Democrats together. I'll I'll tell them to repeal Obamacare. But like he, he was never president. It's fake. It's totally fake. So I couldn't what? take a deal like that. I don't make bad deals. I win. Wait, Obama was a fake. Who was the real president during his presidency, from two thousand and eight to two thousand and sixteen? It was me. I was the president. It's all me. Well, wait, so you you basically brought all of the health care to the federal level? You did all that? No, I don't no. understand. It, it, it was stolen. It was stolen. Everything was stolen. Oh, it was stolen. So you won, but then Obama stole it from you. Yes, yes. Now you understand. Okay. That's why they keep persecuting me. That's why I'm, that's why I'm being called by the... Hell he sell the time. Well, how come uh, Obama's predecessor, I mean, his, uh, what, what is the opposite of predecessor? The guy that seceded, I guess, was you, but then Joe Biden got into office and now you're being investigated, your house is being raided by the FBI and stuff. Like, does it have something to do with the fact that you're better at golf than Barack Obama? No. Yeah. This is just a ever present attempt to cover the truth about everything. It's a deep state. They're after me. But we're going to win because we're strong. We're thousands of people, millions, billions. Hey, I, I got a good question. Why can't the deep state just assassinate you like they did uh, John Kennedy? Like, why can't they just, just get it some sort of patsy assassin to just shoot you? From a book depository. I've got like, secret services. Hold... I've got bodyguards. I have the best bodyguards. The most beautiful bodyguards I've ever seen. Okay. So it's your bodyguards. It's totally bodyguards. They'll take a bullet for me. Okay. Even, what about you're on the golf course? That's a wide open territory. There could be a lot of snipers at any kind of like at the pond, the, the sand trap. I feel like that's... You're leaving yourself wide open for sniper fire at the golf course, right? No one's getting any or golf course that way. We close it all off. It's private. Oh. What about the the golf, like anyone with like three word names? Have you tried like just not allowing people in the golf course or the club? I don't have three because... names. Dog Trump. You can call me Dog J Trump. You don't call me anything more. What's the J in your name? We don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> Not even you. And yeah, nobody knows. I thought what's her name? Fanny, the uh, DA in Atlanta, mentioned your full name, and she said Donald John Trump. Was that correct? Uh, What's her name? Fanny Longbottom. My right? counsel says I can't I think talk her name about is Fanny Longbottom. So if this is going to become an aggressive interview, then I have to show myself the door. Oh, so you can't take hard questions. Like is Fanny like what, Longbottom. Like, like the J is. Nobody else. Nobody else. People say they know. People say they know all kinds of things. They don't know anything. Well, I assume you were briefed on the existence of UFOs. Can you 
I know they've changed the name to UAF or whatever, but I assume you were briefed on the existence of unidentified aerial vehicles. Can you tell the general public about what you know from being briefed when you became president? We don't know anything. They're out there. They're these aliens. They're out there. You can see them, but only for a second, and then they're gone. They're on the radar one second. Boom. They're gone. We don't know anything. Nobody wants to say it. Everybody's like, oh, let's keep it all secret that we don't know anything. We don't. We don't. No. Okay, well, what about anal pl- probes? I'm not saying anybody didn't get probed. We just said no. We had forensics. Assholes have been examined. We don't know. Uh, we have, you were tool. saying that your voice is like a farting dog trying to fart and slay the bonics. What What is your response to that? That's the Fulton County Jail. The Fulton County Jail. Fulton County, the uh, the county in Georgia. They give that me a water. DA. Okay. <laughs> How long did you spend in the processing center when they took that mugshot that we're seeing on the screen right now? It's like 20 minutes with no water. Oh, no water. Were you, like offered any, were you offered any water or no. you declined it? They gave me nothing. They took my picture. Best picture I've ever taken. Look at it. You can see it right here. How do they get a floating badge to be there over your head like that? So that big, that's a watermark. Oh, it's a watermark. Okay. I thought that was there with you when they took the picture. That wasn't there? Like, there's, it's on a string, maybe? No. No, it's not in there. It's not on a string dangling next to your head? No. Okay. I was hoping it was. Sorry. Both the chop. So when you run against all these, why why did you decline to participate in the last debate for the Republicans? Did you were you afraid that you could lose this? You lose Every oh, single the, one the, of them is a loser. Why would I so, enter a room with a bunch of losers? Okay, so you don't like debating with losers? No. But I'm you debate with Hillary. Cl- but wait, you did a you did a debate with Hillary Clinton, isn't she a loser? I was a winner. But they lied. They're, these guys are all on the same side. It's different. Okay. And you Hillary, debate with Marco Rubio and presidency. other people, right? Huh? Well, I mean, you debate with Marco Rubio and uh, Rand Paul and other people uh, the last election cycle or two election cycles ago. I wasn't the top dog. You gotta become the top dog. Now I'm top dog. I'm not gonna talk to any of these motherfuckers. Okay. So you're not gonna participate in any of the debates for the Republican side? I don't think so. Okay. Is it because are you afraid of Chris Christie? I can win the primary. Are you you afraid of Chris Christie? I'll be in jail. I will win the primary. I will win that primary in jail. And I'll win the presidency in jail. Well, I think the your if you were sentenced, it would be like a week before the the general election or something, right? Isn't that correct? It doesn't matter. I'll be the president. Everyone in this country loves me. Everyone? Everyone. They all love me. My crowds are so big. Well, is it possible that people who are moderates or Democrats don't love you? No. I didn't have a man or woman alive that didn't love me. Well, there's a section of, uh, I think, stay-at-home moms and maybe some independent voters who didn't like your grabbing the pussy comment that you made an insider. I guess you didn't realize you're being recorded, but... <laughs> well, it's the truth. What do you... The truth can't yeah, on anybody. Oh, Pretty you can grab lie. any pussy? You could do it. Oh, Anyone you can. could do it. Okay. E- like, even me? Yes. I can grab any pussy? You can. 
how do I do that? Like, I just go for it, or do I have to say something ahead of time, or what? No, you just go for it. Okay. Well, yeah. what about yeah. when she complains by the fact that my hand is currently squeezing her vaginal area? Is she going to she maybe tell complain. other people? She will okay. complain. Do you have to do it a certain way for them not to complain, or is it just yeah, anyway? Yeah, we bet you you bet your oh. famous, they're not going to play. Anyway, well, I know okay. leaks. I got to go to the golf. So, oh, okay. It's giving me a program, but you should not, you should not open your collectibles. That's the reason I'm calling. Oh, oh, so you're saying my Nintendo 3DS that I opened a long yes. time ago so that I could play Mario 3D Land and other such titles That's what on I call. Nintendo's handheld. So what, what should I have done with this? You should have left it untouched. Like pure gold. Well, how much would it be worth if I had the sealed right now? Is it on price charting? I don't know. Was it worth in 20 years? Maybe you could ask one of your security detail to log on to pricecharting.com and look at what this Nintendo 3DS Mario 3D Land bundle would it be worth new? Uh, too deal. busy. Too busy defending me from Cyprus. Anyway. It's great well, to I'll let you go. I, under, I, I understand you're busy. And I mean, I, I, I apologize that you know, the state of Georgia here is tr indicting you for your activities. So I'll talk to you later. Well, that was the end of that. That was nice. I can't believe the president called you just to criticize you for opening that box I mean it, I, I assume it had, would have some decent value this flame red Nintendo 3DS you know a bundle set that I bought however many years ago when did this come out this is when they reduced the price of the 3DS from like two. but you opened it though right you opened that yeah I opened it I can't believe you opened that what, I, what, I, to, what, how am I going to play the 3DS without opening it? What do you want from me? I'm playing it's Devil's Advocate. Mario... You're actually doing the right thing opening it. But it's it's uh, it didn't please Trump, obviously. So the last thing I want to do tonight is just have a review, as I want to do every time we do this. And there's some things I'm going to bring to this program next time. Next time, there's going to be a phone number, a real phone number. It'll be a United States phone number that you can call and you can be on the program by calling the number. That's going to happen next time. So be ready for that. That's going to be fucking ridiculous. And on top of that, we are also going to go over the Discord every time at the end. So let's take a look at our Discord for the day see if I can fucking actually get the Discord up here on the screen and if it's readable or not because I have not tested whether or not Discord is readable or not. It's kind of not, is it? That's pretty hard to read. But anyway, there's been some things going on in this Discord. Let's go to the items of note. We have this fucking sat on Box of natural light, courtesy of Where Do You Learn to Fly, always sending the very best in real pictures out there. He took a seat. Comments? You got nothing, Bite? Nothing for the, the, the sh shat on... Oh, shit, you're fucking muted. How the fuck did this happen? Oh, I'm here, I'm here. Okay. That was what was you. shattered? I can't. I can't tell what what is shattered on here. Well, he just fucking sat on this box. He 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 took a seat on the box. It's an empty box of natural light, clearly drank by him and anyone around him. Took a seat on there. Nat Natty light. Natty, Natty light. Natty light. Yep. And he took a seat on there and then put it right in there for everybody to see. And that was he a worthy feat to put on Discord. Apparently, this is this is what's going on in this discord we also have lots of charles manson fucking shit in here apparently the history of jägermeister jägermeister we got this guy what do you think about this 
we got the woman from what roundhouse is that what she is the that's a the that's nose? a mannequin, dude. That's a mannequin. We don't even know if it's a woman or not. In fact, that's part of the the whole mannequin. fucking discussion here. Kozuko King of Crows. That's that's the woman that was on Roundhouse, I think. Nickelodeon. Kozuko has right. a lot of meanings. It's also a cosmetics company, but that's not the point. That's that's his username. He's a dude in Romania. He's not a girl. Oh, am I, am I, I'm not supposed to be looking at the, the Discord. Okay, I'm looking at what's on your screen now. Got it. Right, yeah, yeah. I'm displaying on my desktop on the computer screen because I f- figured out how to do that. So, did you, you know, in the show Roundhouse, well, the dad character was stuck in a chair, a comfy chair that was kind of like a scooter or a rascal or whatever, and he, and he just always maneuvered around on a recliner that was outfitted to be kind of like a rascal. And I always wondered, is he disabled? Or is he lazy? They, they never explained that, did they? Mm, they did. In the show Roundhouse on no, Nickelodeon? They never figured. It, I'm not sure. I wish they would have had a final episode where they mentioned that he had, like, uh, spinal injuries or something. That would have yeah. been a nice reveal. There's no the evidence, end. is there? I don't think they talked about it. That's crazy. So, anyway, what Where's do you think of this shirt? This was posted here by Doc Shades. On the Discord. Oh, so basically, drinking drinking Bud Light makes you a pussy is what I got out of that. That story. that that's what the shirt is implying here. Yes. My understanding, and I just this is a rumor because I have no if it's true, but like some guy saw, uh, Kid Rock drinking a Bud Light at a bar, and took a a picture of it and posted on social media, whereas Kid Rock famously was like uh, depicted as. Uh, from the backlash of the transgender guy whose name I don't know, I don't really care that much about, but did a promotional ad for Bud Light and everyone's really upset about it or whatever. I don't know why everyone's paying attention to Bud Light ads all of a sudden. Like, to me, that's something that's a background thing I have no fucking interest in, but all of a sudden people are really concentrated and focused on They are. The content They're of focused. Bud Light's advertisement campaigns. So many people, but... so many people have switched to Budweiser, which. But basically, I, I failed uh, to see. <laughs> Kid Rock was like, oh, "I'm never drinking Bud Light," and he has a, a like a TikTok, I don't know, or some sort of social media post, and then he has a gun and he shoots like the the six pack or twenty four pack or something, yeah, and explodes it. But then some guy found. I, I heard this is a rumor. I never researched. I don't ever verify shit. I hear okay. I just repeat bullshit back to you on the internet. Because that's what you deserve as a, as a viewer of Twitch. You deserve bullshit that I have heard as rumors. They only put back shit in the dumpster, man. That's what we talk about. And that and that basically what he was accused of is like some guy took a picture of Kid Rock at a bar actually drinking a Bud Light after he was like vehemently like shit posting about Bud Light. Was I it guess. tap Bud Light or was it um was it a can Bud Light? I didn't see the picture. It was talked about on the Von Hessler Doctrine actually. Because I. Have drank Bud you know, Light. You know the you, you listen tap. to Von Hessler Doctrine, right? I do. Yeah, that's a good that's a good talk show. That's another one. It's another one out there. So there they, are they, they mentioned that on there that the, some someone took a picture of it and put it. So I didn't verify whether it was true or not. But that's where I heard it. Well, I believe it. Any of you guys that don't live in Georgia, you have no idea what the Von Hessler Doctrine is. But... The Von Hessler Doctrine is a radio show. It's a radio talk show with a bunch of people on it and. Because of the multiple personalities, they do a lot of stuff like this. So, it's a good show. But anyway, it's out there. They mentioned that on that show. I don't know about although, Kid Rock doing that shit. But although some people from LA knew who Von Hustler is because he was in LA doing a radio show there for a while alongside Howard Stern. So some people from LA know who he is. Yeah, Howard Stern's great. They're both great. But anyway. Um, it is it still the number one beer? I don't think it is. That's what the controversy is all about. No, Corona took anymore. over number one beer, is my understanding. See, that was the one was I it... thought would be the least popular because of the coronavirus. But obviously, Corona's advertising like all no no news is bad news. You got your it's free press for for Corona, so. That's why everybody's gravitating toward Corona at this time. They've just heard about it all the time. They heard about how bad it was, but they didn't believe it. And then suddenly, now, everybody's drinking it. 
Virtual Under Fly says I think it was Modelo, but I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm mixing it up, but I thought it was Corona. I could be wrong. It could be Modelo. I don't fucking know. Don't check. Don't check. Don't fact don't, check don't, this, don't, man. Don't this is not a this. this is not a show of facts when it comes from Bite Binge. This side of the table is the right side of the I'm table. Just a man. The right side is where we will not be seeing facts. We will be seeing truths. It's different than facts. Yeah. You, know, you know what's weird? Like I have a copy of a. I'm going back to video games here. I have a copy. I love how of it looks a, like you're putting that like down your pants. <laughs> but I have a copy of a Professor Layton game on 3DS, the Azran Legacy, which for whatever reason is now worth like $150, which I don't understand how that happens. It's not, it's not like it's that old now. You know what I mean? Like You understand like some games go up in value over time, but it's like, why is my 3DS copy of Azran Legacy on, of uh, Professor Layton worth $150? Like, why that particular game? Like, why is that the one that's gone up in value in my 3DS collection? Isn't that I, weird? I couldn't tell you. Don't know. It just happens. The value of things spikes based on demand and supply. That's pretty much it. So let me ask you three questions. Three questions coming at you, if you'll let me. Got it. You rapid answer or regular answer? Regular answer. Okay. All right. Do you drink Bud Light right now? No. Did you drink Bud Light before this bullshit? No. Coors Light's better. If someone offered you a free Bud Light, would you drink it? Of course. I don't give. There we go. You know what? Fucking a. Those three the questions, Coors Light, Coors those Light's are the answers here. that I this also man. give. Did I drink Bud Light before? Fuck no. It makes me pee too much. Does uh, Coors you, Light's a better light beer. Yeah, yeah, Just exactly. And would, would you drink one for free? Fuck yes, I would. Would you drink it if it's the only beer on tap? Hell yes. Fuck yes, I would. I need beer. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to let some Someone fucking trans... Coors Light or Bud Light. Some trans Coors conflict deprive me of beer at any time that is so dumb why would you ever deprive yourself of beer if it was the only option because of some stupid bullshit that you're not even involved with you're not oh, even involved with that shit me, fuck that i ain't doing that let me see if i can find a picture of uh uh kid rock kid rock drinking but i still drink budweiser because it's actually good beer and it's from the same company, so obviously my the boycott's not coming through on my side. But I've always drank Budweiser anyway, not Bud Light. Bud Light is for oh. like fucking football games and shit. It's for people who can't you're fucking. You ready hold for this? Urine or Check liquor. Check this out. You ready for this? It will get you drunk, Jose, but it'll make you piss, and it's totally not beer. It's, it's here. I post. I posted a picture on they Discord. Have, yeah. They have right. a picture of him drinking with a drag queen. There and he it's is. It's a Bud Light. Wow. Wow, that guy has gone full fucking circle. Good for him. Way to be a hypocrite. I don't care what <laughs> side you fucking feel is the right side in this situation. This guy is. But managed, he's wearing a cord. This guy's hat. managed to take both of them and just be like, here you go, motherfuckers. What you gonna do now? Yeah, that poor drag queen now. What the fuck is she going to do with her career? It's over. He, she's just fucking drank a Bud Light with fucking Kid Rock. She's totally canceled. Oh, you mean the one in that picture? I thought yeah. you meant the one that did the advertisement. I was like, what are you talking about? That's I mean, totally a good comparison, too. Well done there. question is, when was that left picture taken? Was it really taken after the boycott or not? And with a transvestite, I... is it? it's just so interesting. It's just not what I expected to see. It is. It is pretty. It's mean, not what I expected not? to see. I'm glad you real? were able to bring this content in at the last second as well. How great! What do you say to that? Let me see. I say cheers. Drink uh, your fucking no, I mean, Anheuser Busch it, beer if it's what you have there's, around. There's new news articles on it. So if you if you look at it, I just posted it in the Discord. Kid Rock mocked for a photo of him drinking Bud Light with drag queen. A 20-year-old photo of Rock has resurfaced days after the Aha. mission appeared. I, I am good at calling out misinformation, and that's what it seemed like that was. It is interesting yeah, but though, that, but that he was drinking, drag queen. but he did and drink Bud Light. But he did drink Bud Light with a drag queen at one point in his life, which means he's other, he's obviously very ashamed of that night. What happened is the question. Here's where we go. Let's go back here. What happened? 
All right, let's let's analyze this from a fucking purely logical perspective. This man has this experience 20 years ago, drinking Bud Light with this drag queen. It happened. Some stuff went on after that happened. And 20 years later, now the motherfucker hates drag queens and hates Bud Light. So something changed. Was it an immediate change? Did something happen that night? Or was this just some fucking weirdo fucking glitch in the Matrix? I don't know. I'm just saying. From a logical perspective, for someone's mind to change that much, there's more to the story. It is interesting that there happens to be a photo of him drinking Bud Light with a a transvestite or a drag queen. It's just that's an odd series of events, right? It really is. After he was so adamant about how he was upset about Bud Light uh, having what's her name as the spokesman, I don't know the person's name because I don't care. I mean, I'm just don't follow that shit. So you know, Thunder, recently, Thunder while, insisted. What were you saying? You know, I recently there's a Netflix documentary that goes over the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. Oh yes, that's a trial. Oh, there's the mega, there's the mega pint right there. What this? They just they yeah down. There's the mega pint. Yes, this is, is another Depp where do you learn to fly contribution. There's, a mega, there's the mega pint. She, although she's showing her belly button all this, that, she that looks is, like she's having video. a good time. That if that's real wine, that's a dream right there. I'm jealous of this that's... woman. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not even gonna pretend. This is. This is. This is brilliant, and she is a hero for doing it. I want to do it. And how much did she get in her mouth? And did she finish it? Did she finish it? Well, you have to understand the volume of liquor. This is such a small gift. That's the problem. There's more to the story. The volume of liquor pouring towards your face, you're not going to really get that much. And she has to go almost like a hundred, like a flat. She had to at least let her whole mouth get full. I would have. So I'm sure she look at how happy she is. She well, had to have it, done like, it. Once it so, into your face, you're you're not gonna hardly get anything. You're gonna get quite a bit. I disagree. She didn't get she didn't get a lot. She needs to get more out of it. I, I think that's why we need video, the rest of the story. I think in the video, she, she didn't realize how far back she was gonna have to lean to get the liquid to her face. Yeah. And so she was thrown off by that. Yeah. It 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 it. it she may not have gotten the mouthful she wanted, but she liked it. She liked it. There's no doubt about that. So, anyway, jealous. That's my fucking thing. And then there's this lady being fucking going after this vodka bottle, which is what I feel like after work. And there's something from Thunder that I wanted to feature here. All right. We're going to be watching now a TikTok video posted by... um, Thunder love here. So let's watch this shit. Very small. I don't think the audio went through. Uh, It's on your stream. The audio was through through on your stream. Really? Yes. Yes, it was. Yes. I just have to try it again. We just we just gotta do that one more time. Is this Oliver Tree? I don't know. That's the video. That's the video he requested that I show. So, it's an aspiring rapper, obviously. Maybe I've got one person in the viewing audience who knows who I'm referring to. I don't know. Maybe, maybe at best. He's fucking throwing down some scenario. fucking throwing down some fucking tracks though, for us all to listen to. And at this point, we close down the program. Next time, we're gonna take viewer calls, but this time we'll just talk to the chat for a second, and then that'll be it for fucking dumpster talk this evening. What if, What if you had a vote to where they could vote to eject me from my desk? Well, we can think about that later, but right now, I don't want to. I don't want to fuck with that because I don't have the tech. Giving more ideas. Well, yeah, do it in the next two seconds. 
Yeah, exactly. That's the problem. That ain't going to happen. But anyway, if you got any other topics that you want discussed, chat is the way to do it right now because we don't have the phone number. The phone number is coming next week. Sorry, you got to call international if you're not in the United States. We never, to, we never talked about the only rich what's people can call if they're not. We never talked about the Wagner uh, uh, leader guy. Oh, we can do that. Piz, then, what's his name? Pizvig. I never remember his name. It's like a weird name. Pizvig. No, he's right here. Pizvig. What's his name though? I I can't pronounce it. I'm not going to pretend that I can. Well, try it. What's it? Show it. Show it. I mean, it's like P Z G H. Like I don't know how the fuck to say it. Anyway, that guy. His P R I G O Z H I N. Prigozhkin probably is his name, but I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not going to pretend that I know, but that's probably what it is. I mean, am clearly assassinated by the way i mean we, we haven't talked about this so let's just get my this this motherfucker was assassinated i guess it, so if for anyone doesn't know there's a mercenary group that russia employs called the wagner group that helps fight wars for them basically like how you know people would hire dutch mercenaries like the british would hire dutch mercenaries to fight americans during the Revolutionary War, if you're not there, the, the, there's a name for them. Mercenaries have been it. used for ages. Rome did it too. But th there's the name of the specific German ones during the Revolutionary time. I forget the name, but a group basically that was known for fighting. The them. last, the in history, the last known known mercenary use that I'm aware of is in Rome. But there probably was earlier than that. I'll bet that I'll bet the Japanese War, did it. The British, the British employed German mercenaries, and there was a group. Jesus, that they Kozeko, employed. that's a whole damn fucking screen. Oh yeah, that's just the Pythagorean theorem. You're a piece of shit. Let's get that. Apparently, that's there. there. I don't know why. I can. I, I can. There. I have the power to clear the chat box. It's easy. We can. Well, we can case, talk so about a triangle guy, all day long. But once it, this the, guy. This guy was complaining a lot about how Russia didn't give him ammunition when they're trying to defend territory. He was complaining about like, you know, yeah. if they don't give me ammunition, I'm like going to fucking valid complaints. Uh, I'm going to go back to Russia and like take, you know, saying a bunch of shit like how he's going to turn his military back onto Russia. Right. And like, then he did that's that. Weird. That's weird. And then he did that's do that. He, that. he did do that. He turned his military on Russia and he took several provinces over. So he did do that. And then when this was going on, I remember I was like, hey, this guy's actually doing a military coup. But the thing is, like, I don't understand even with the 30,000 people he has, he still has no chance of taking Moscow. So there had to have been That's like a stage two. That's why they stopped. Two. That's why they stopped. They couldn't but there had it. to have been like a stage two in his plan that involved other uh, high-ranking Russian Look at him. Do you really him. think he thought it that far through at that point, or was he just overcome with emotion? I think there had to have been a domino type strategy where he defects, he presents a a military force that is marching toward Moscow, then another general who is also in the inner circle of uh, Putin also defects. Oh, you wanted to domino groups. it? That did not happen. I think that's what he was. I think, I think. Do you think he had like some secret deals those. that were broken? I think he had to have. You think, think he, he had, had secret have. deals that were broken, where if he marched on Moscow, that it, others would do it too. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. And to they me. fucking otherwise... coattailed his ass and didn't do it. That that's what you think. That's not actually. You for all the bullshit you say, and you say a lot of bullshit. That's not so off base. I think, uh, the plan was. He throws these main line military off balance with the fact that he's acting against uh, Russian military. I really interest. wonder, honestly, and I mean this, if he would have marched on Moscow, if he would have lost, because I don't think he they're ready like, for that. I don't think they're like ready for it. Thousand people. It's not uh, really I don't like, think they're ready win. for it. I don't think the Kremlin could survive an attack of that they, nature they that quick like from their own people. Over a hundred thousand people they could quickly deploy. 
There's you no, think they could deploy win. that many? You think they could? Yeah, and they have better air superior. They're gonna have. Where bombs. were they? We didn't see them deployed. They were halfway they there. They, they were halfway to. to Moscow. They didn't have to, but they didn't start. They didn't have. When to. were they gonna do it? When was that gonna happen? When was the hundred thousand gonna show up at the fucking they border can. of Moscow to make that happen? They, they, they could easily get that there, and and the taking of Moscow would have been basically impossible. It was days away. You think they could have done that? They didn't start doing he it. Only, well, then why did he Two stop? Two towns fell before me. nothing why, was done. Why did he stop then? You tell me. That, I don't know. That's the question, because his stopping was his death. Obviously, it would have been his death either way. I don't know why he didn't go for it, because, I mean, he knew he wasn't going to fucking survive that shit. Yeah, when he, when I heard, I'm like, when I heard he was doing this, I'm like, oh shit, I mean, what's, how, is he really going to go for it? And they I was like, they made a deal, I'm like, well, he's going to be dead, like, within a week or two. I literally was like, there's no way he's going to just walk away from this unscathed. There's, I mean, I knew, like, 100%, knowing the way Vladimir Putin operates, killing his The way the KGB adversaries. operates, it's not even Putin. There's just, I'm like, there's just no way that this guy's actually going to walk away from this. I'm like, there's just, I'm, I'm just like, like, does he believe that Putin's going to really allow him to do this? And then just like, well, I'm sorry, I'll leave now. Come on. Well, My bad. I'm sorry about that. I'll, I'll go to Belarus and I won't bother you anymore. And they shake hands and say, well, I'm sorry we had this disagreement with one another. There's no way. There's just no way that was going to be the outcome. That's why I question why he quit. Why didn't he go for it? He knew he was going to die. He knew it. Why didn't he go for it? At that point, once you pull the trigger, let the bullet fly out of the gun. He's a fucking coward. The die is already cast. He deserves it. The die was cast. The die wasn't cast. That motherfucker pulled that motherfucking dice off the table before it even fucking went down and still owed his fucking debt. That's what happened here. I'm sorry. I'm calling it what it is. Someone someone says they redeemed shrimp shit but I am not seeing it how far back is this see part oh. of this show is the never ending uh, exploitation of where do you learn how far back channel oh he's, li- he's lying right oh no there was a cozy code did put it a long time ago I see it now I had to scroll way up the shrimp shit is not working right it, hap- no, it happened all the way back during the I Trump already segment, checked apparently. before we started the stream I pushed the shrimp shit button which was working it is not. I do not want to push it. I know it will and now, fuck this up. And now, all the way back, when I'm looking at to see when this redemption happened, I see Siddhartha say Byte went to drag con? Yes, he did. So now now, now I'm addressing that it was Dragon Con. In case you don't know. Oh man, you stupid bitch is not allowed. Wait, now it's on there. Okay, Byte Binge got it. Okay, good. Now, you're not going to anyway. lose your points. Eventually, I'm going to figure out how to refund that shit. I just don't know how to do it because Twitch changed the spot where it is. But yes, you oh, lost it, it for this one, unfortunately. Just bring up at least 12 Next more program, we'll have shrimp we'll shit. We'll have it. We will have just the shrimp shit. Just bring up at least 12 additional times for how you brought it up tonight, and then maybe, maybe he'll do it. Well, I'm not saying I'm going to necessarily refund all of where do you learn to fly its points, but I'll get you, Kose. I'll get you back. There's a running gag at this point to just take where do you learn to fly his channel points. <laughs> just fleece him until he believes in my prostitution policies of not fucking exploiting people. <sighs> but yeah, this guy is this guy obviously is fucked. But he fucking if you're gonna do it, do it. Right. If you're gonna pull the trigger, if you're gonna make a decision that is a life changing decision, stick to it. Come on. This applies not only to this motherfucker, but everything you do. Everything you, know, it, you it, do. It, it, like this guy ever... I mean, we're not even I'm not even I don't even admire the guy. I don't even necessarily well, want him to win or lose. He just fucked up. He made the there's wrong call. An old... There's an old adage that says, if you're going to strike the king, you better make sure you kill him. Yes, exactly. That's a very good <laughs> adage. That's the way to go. You cannot strike the king and say, oh, my bad. I tried to kill you, but I've changed my mind. 
And you're like, oh, so it's like if you're gonna strike the king, it better be a death blow. You can't just strike him and, and then try to walk away. Yes, diplomacy say, oh, my bad. is not a Russian concept, whether they they say it is or not. So his attempt to use diplomacy afterwards was ignorant. That was a bad call, and he fucking deserves what he got. Well, I don't know if you say he deserves. I mean, to me, it was inevitable. He deserves it, it what he obvious. got. I mean, he, he it chose was obvious his employment. That's what it was going to happen. He chose his employment. He's going to die. It, uh, being a soldier or a leader of soldiers, that's also a choice of death as a very real consequence of what you're going to do. Not necessarily the consequence, but losing, could that could be the consequence of that shit. So he already chose that. The it's just yeah, you don't fucking stab the king and fucking not kill him. You don't do that. You better you better go for it if all the way until your last breath. King, if you're gonna strike the king, you better make sure it's a death blow. You gotta make sure you kill him. You can't even injure you him. Can't, you can't strike him and then just expect to walk away. It just doesn't happen. And that's that was so obvious that. The, when this happened, like, oh, he's gonna go to Belarus, and like, no, he's not. He's gonna be dead within a week or two. He played like, PUBG, no but way. the fucking server population was too high. That's the problem. Here you go. I gave you the guy to raid in case you want to read him. All right, let's do it. It's time to fucking end this fucking program. Let's get the raid going. All right, let's do it. Get some channel points for your. Compliment bite binge by being part of the raid. Everyone save up and pull your points together for compliment. We might have bite end binge. credits coming up. It'd be pretty funny. Oh, there we go. I get 250 shots for being part of this raid. Nice. Get those extra points so that you can get them stolen by me the way yes yeah, so, so you could spend it and then not have not, actually not have anything it. happen yes all right we're going in you bitches it's been fun we'll see you on the next right. one fuck